<laughs> then what I ask you, if what if I can rape, right? Uh-huh. Then if I, I really like, he can kill you. Yeah. Then he say he will kill. Would you take justice into your own hands if your loved one's nudes got leaked? This is your daily catch up. Okay, so this is a trigger warning. This episode, we'll be touching on death. So yeah, the fragility of life and sexual assault. So if these are triggering to you, please click away and we'll see you in the next episode. Okay, on to today's episode. The headline is Malaysian man allegedly beats teen, 18-year-old to death for having sex with his girlfriend, 16-year-old. The case has been classified as a murder. Shit. Yes. Can so, you, can you ima- like whenever I hear these type of articles, right? And somebody says that you've been beaten to death, right? Can you imagine... What it's like to be beaten to death? Yeah. How? No, but apparently, like he 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 didn't die on the spot, right? He died on the way to the hospital. So like the guy actually left him in still mm. what he thought was a livable state. Mm. But then he had some complications or something along those lines. Yeah. Right? So if I can like summarize the case, right? Basically, the guy realized that this teen had had sex with his daughter. They were dating. Yeah, but then later on, he found that the guy had actually filmed and circulated a video of that sexual. In- <gasps> and then that's when he went to like beat the guy up and then after he yeah confronted the guy beat him up then after that brought him to the police station and throw him there then after that the police called ambulance and he died in the like he succumbed to his injuries la. yikes he was beaten with like a chair plastic oh. plastic chairs <clears throat> ah yeah. that explains it. okay 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 now the teen sense. apparently was also stripped of his clothes in public so when he brought him to the police station he actually accused him of sexually assaulting a girl isn't it funny how yeah. If, if it was in a different time, this is socially acceptable. No, if it is a different country, this is oh, socially right, acceptable. Right, right, right. Damn. Yeah. No, but it's like I mean, like both were at the wrong here, right? So like the the guy, the the eighteen year old guy, obviously shouldn't have like been filming this. I don't know whether it's with the girl's consent or not. Also. Yeah, lo. Is it very? But sixteen Actually, is legal. Interestingly, right? Okay, so if for example, right, like your partner asks, "Can she film when you are having sex?" What would you What would you say? No. Sure. You say yes or not. Usually I have to turn off the camera. Is it how we were filming? <laughs> so like what I realized was that so we like we asked like some of our crew also, right? And all the guys say yes, cool, let's film. But all the girls, right, will say no. Right? <laughs> oh she hesitated. Okay, so you know <laughs> one girl. Yeah, well, well, well. <laughs> like, I, I I know my partner won't be comfortable. Uh. Which is why we haven't. Then she have to set up the light or tape on the wire. <laughs> but I say no, it's not because I don't trust my partner. It's because I don't trust technology. Mm. Like the iCloud hack law. Yeah. The fappening. Or like accidentally send or like, I don't know, yeah. someone like hack the phone. So you say you yeah. take out like a vintage. Like, super right. 8. Uh, super yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, <laughs> yeah right, I right, think right, that right, guy must it. have the physical CD ah, the or film. tape. Yep. Then I know where it is. Then we lock it in the <laughs> box. Then we only can watch together. Then okay. Maybe you can film. Right, right. So the film will only take you $5,000 to, <laughs> to develop. <laughs> then, okay. Oh, shit. Okay, but then back to this, where to the point where the father beat up a guy for, for doing this and then threw him in the police cell. Wow, I think it's quite... It's rubber. Like, is there any way you can justify this? If, if you are filled with rage and you mm. fight somebody, right? Mm. Are you really thinking that like, I'm going to beat you but not kill you? Yeah. How do you know that your partner is not going to kill this person, right? Or mm-hmm. that you're going to throw this guy to the ground, he's not going to smash his head on the ground and then just die, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I don't think that's something that people really factor in. La. Yeah. And well, regardless snaps. of age. Also. Some, like something snaps in your brain, you're, you're not rational anymore at that point of time. Like something takes over. Yeah. And if you're in a scuffle also, it's it's so difficult to determine. Ma. And yeah. then if you're in a real fight with a stranger, I mean, okay, la, this one a bit unfair because 16 year old versus an adult. And, it, I, and I do yeah. think, oh yeah, and I do think that they're aware of each other. So there was an opportunity for like he was defenseless, lah. Is that what you're saying? A conversation, not that he's defenseless, defenseless, but the guy knows this is an eighteen year old boy. Versus right. if I fight somebody on the street, I don't know how old you are, I don't know your background, I don't know whatever, right? Yeah, I'm going to engage in a fight with you. I'm going to give hundred percent because if I don't, you might kill me. Mm. That's what happened. Right? There was a viral video recently. I don't know whether y'all got seized. It was overseas, if I'm not wrong. Then like got a few guys like going up to these two. Then one of them was like waving a knife around. Then after that, he just like went like that, right? I actually didn't even see it. <clears throat> but after that, you see like he catch his neck. Uh, then the blood like... Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. His neck got like slashed. Then he just dropped and died. <gasps> like. And, like, he died on the spot? He died on the spot. Right, right. But it's like... on he, I was so shocked. That, I think like that's the first time I've seen like... Like because we've seen like the Natalie Xiao, like all those, right? But this is like... 
totally unexpected for me last so I was a bit like traumatized a bit after that yeah so mm. then you can see in his face like that he doesn't register that he's going to die right until he like <gasps> drops oh my mm. yeah and then it's like wow like life just like yeah but the video right very weird because it's one group versus another and the guy with the knife right he's backing off but he's waving the knife right mm. and then the the other group there's two guys one of them is like doing some fighting stance with like head movement or and you actually see dude with knife attempt to step the guy with the head movement but he dodges and at the moment you know that this guy wielding the knife is really trying to use it already mm. then the other fella just I don't know he obviously don't know how to fight one he just walked up standing straight to the other person and then he was too close and the guy just went for it and then he, he got caught but I don't and, and again I also don't know whether they're high and all this kind of shit right but actually in that moment so like bringing it back to your point right I wonder if he knew he would have killed that guy in that moment mm. when, the, the he just, knife wielder. when he just like that like I don't, I don't know whether he meant to slash the neck right or or like it really just so happened law. well I think if you're swinging a knife at somebody's head right or face or neck right I think I think you have an intention to hurt. Yeah. But maybe not kill. I don't la. think hurt, I think kill. Like to me, if I was wielding a knife, trying to defend myself from somebody attacking me also, right? I'd probably go for body, not head. Right. Or neck. Mm. Right. But I can imagine yeah. the scenario where you're like, I'm like, I'm just threatening you, I'm just threatening you, and then going, oh shit, oh f what have I done? And yeah. I really didn't mean to do this. But then now suffer the consequences. And they didn't, none somewhere. of the people around realized, by the way, like the guy that was like, kind of like fighting stance, right? <laughs> the real triggerer. <laughs> Like still continue going. Like they, the guy that was, it was like I think I, I don't know it's a passerby like, that was a bit further away that was filming that focus on that guy. But I think like his friends also right didn't realize what had happened mm. because it was really like so fast right and then yeah and it's mm. just gone. Yeah, because I, I was just talking uh, to 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 my brother about this also and then like we were talking about how like human beings right, we are literally like just bags of 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 liquid waiting to burst. Eh. Mm. Oh shit, that's what a way to put it. We are so fragile eh. Anything can 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 mm. rip us apart, you know? Yeah. Like the, the other day I was watching one video also, like some rock foil in, in India or some shit. Then I see like, oh so nice, like like the person filming, then the rock's just like crumbling down. So nice. You see so I, I, nice. I think like it's just a, oh it's, it's just a it, It's a landslide by the way, it's not Ah uh, yeah, it's a whatever like <laughs> And it like the bridge like smashed. Yeah, no, the rock look tok 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 like <laughs> small pebble. There's only one rock hit the bridge the Bridge just oh, there, but oh they're like, my Oh my god, this is real. Yeah. Like, if this were to land or kena a human being, right? They were just like, like mosquito, eh? yeah. Wow, damn scary. Speaking of falling and murders, you know that there was another case of this uh Singaporean couple that went to Newcastle in England and then suddenly the dad killed the mom. And what? then, and then, like, there's oh, new yeah. stories of coming out about like testimonies of how, like, the, the husband has been always so gentle and so kind to the mom. This is so uh, like, out of character, right. And so more details came out and actually said that just before he smothered her, he actually fell down five times and there was one fall that he fell 15 meters. Mm -hmm. But he was still allowed to go home. And so like there may be a case where he just wasn't in the right frame of mind. Right. And mm -hmm. like apparently the wife likes to neck him to like always look out for his health and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So like it could have just been a moment where she just went, he just went like, shut up! And then like smother her, right? Yeah, when yeah, yeah. he wasn't like thinking straight. And it's so scary how like something like that in you can just like, there, there was this um yeah okay back to the original story right because there was this other case that i think we brought up sometime before in another episode about an uh, the a, a MMA ufc one, uh. yeah uh. a ufc fighter found out that his his niece or daughter or something like that right who was super young like four years old kena sexually abused uh multiple times by the the teacher or somebody like or doctor or whatever and so right he basically did a drive-by yeah, ah. but I think he didn't manage to successfully kill, but but he was um Commented attempted or like attempted. It, yeah. yeah, yeah. But then a lot of the comments on on, on the news covering this right were all saying that this guy would have is basically doing what everybody says they will do. Mm. Yeah, but he had the balls to f do it lah. And then I put myself in his situation. So and I think right, if that really happened to me, what would I do? Yeah, because it's so strange that the, uh, like the whole conversation of taking justice into your own hands also. We live in a society, right? <laughs> Quoting George. In a society. Yeah, we live in a society. <laughs> yeah, but, but is it really fully wrong of us to enact um, revenge or, or justice? But if we take it to our own hands, right? And then like the law is will not work anymore. No, no, no. So what if the boundaries and the law is part of it? It's a mix. It's not separate. 
So for example, if that person did this to my my so my 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 loved one or whatever, and his sentence is death, can I be the one to enact it? Oh, oh. Mm. wow! But it's revenge, right? It's vengeance. What we as a society want to like, like what are we telling people by? Uh, because like I feel like a lot of a lot about law is positioning or it's like I was it's showing a stance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so if we allow that to happen, right? What are we saying we want our society to be? You know what I mean? So right, like humans, human beings, there is uh, an aspect of us that contains these thoughts of violence, cruelty, mm -hmm. and all these other things that we deem to be very negative, right? Mm -hmm. And so far, the way society has moved towards, right? It's that we still have these pervasive thoughts. We still have all these ideas and whatnot, but we are not able to act upon it. And so what has manifested, right? It's the gore the movies you see, the violent films, and like even like us watching these viral videos of, of uh, people getting killed on the streets and, and watching UFC and that kind of stuff, right? Like all of this, right, is feeding into that. It's us almost as like human a coping beings. mechanism for it us. It is, it is. But it's very disassociative. Yeah. But it's an is it uh is it the right thing for us as human beings? Or is there a space that we can What do you I, I mean right thing? Sorry? That's, what, that's okay. What you mean right thing? No, like like is it to should watch? we have deemed this as a negative component of a human being oh. and then we compartmentalize it yeah. and just say never again? Because yeah. it still yeah. manifests itself. I mean, okay, not just manifesting itself in different ways, right? But it still happens. Uh. You're trapping in a Pandora's box that's just waiting to like, Yeah, explode, because like uh. I re I watch documentaries on, on, on like fighters, for example, right? Boxers and whatever. And some of them is like, I just have this law, I need to f fight. Mm. You know, like the gladiator kind of mm. like vibes mm. or whatever, right? But people like, like this don't exist. Yeah. I, th I think the issue is that like, if we allow people who have been done wrong in that situation, like the UFC fighter or like the father or whatever, right, to enact a death sentence, I think what you create is that two things. One is that there might be additional trauma that you're, that you're putting onto someone for taking someone's life. Mm. Or because right now, I'm assuming none of us have committed murder, right? There's a <laughs> massive mental like gap that we need to come across to kill somebody. But once you've done that, right, it actually might make it easier for you to kill people in the end. And then you mm. then open up a new Pandora's box because you no longer have that hurdle anymore once you've taken a life. Mm. Right? And then right. if you enact it into practice, you might get more cases of this. I don't know, I'm just projecting. But That's I feel quite like true. So like the Singapore's ex-hangman was like doing an interview about how he couldn't find an apprentice. Mm. Yeah, and so basically he was trying like, he was 50, 60 at that point already. Mm. And then like trying to train someone to take over his job la, as the hangman. But it's very difficult because like people realize that like they come in, right? And then like they cannot, they just cannot pull the trigger law. Like I think when you think about it, right? Technically all you need to do is like, you tie the noose or whatever properly, right? Cause mm. it's according to weight so they mm. can snap the neck properly. Yep. Then after that, you pull the, yeah. And so he's Singapore hang uh. yeah, la. yeah. Hanging has, Oh. It's like kind of like the. I thought it was a pill or something. Uh, no. It's the. It's oh. like that movie. Um, apprentice. What's his okay. name? Bu Jung Feng. Yeah. yeah. Oh. But yeah, so he couldn't find. Like they just couldn't start market. Yeah. yeah. But I think going back to like if this is something that we all said we would do, right? I think similarly in this situation, what the father has done to protect the dignity of the daughter in a arguably a lot more conservative, and I mean assuming that if it is Muslim, right, then mm. it's like double the shame mm. as in I'm doing it I don't want to I don't want to say that it's such a thing is shameful lah, but yeah so this is in quite an altruistic sense right he's doing it for the dignity of his daughter but I feel like if we take it more on a personal level if I found out that like a guy raped my wife for example or like my, my wife cheated on like maybe a good friend of mine mm. Mm. and the rage that I would be feeling towards that guy and I want to be him out right like Obviously, me rational now would not want to kill a guy, but I know that maybe I want to beat him up and I <laughs> really don't know if I, in that situation, will be able to pull myself out of it yeah. and go, like, let's not, like, let's stop already, you know? Yeah. Mm. yeah. But it does, I mean, based on what he did after, right, which is bring him to the police station and then tell the police that he had sexually assaulted an underage mm. girl, like, it seemed like he did, he didn't want to kill him, like, maybe he had his age in mind and all mm. that, right? And, but similarly, what he did to the daughter was ruin the daughter's life and he wanted to do the same to him. Mm. That, to me, feels like the situation, like, but I mean, okay. again, I don't have the details. Mm. I also feel like he probably didn't have the intention to kill. I mean, if he bring to the police, 
in the first place. No, but apparently he's being trout. He's being trout for murder because the guy died. Yeah, yeah. 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 And he's potentially going to get the death sentence. Oh, I didn't know. Yes. Uh, didn't Malaysia just... Yeah, but like Malaysia just... Change it for change, him. No, they say that the oh. judge is allowed to like... If they think the death penalty is not... Yeah. The final Basically, one, like, can change it. Yeah, it's kind life. of on hold. Right, right, yeah, right. It's kind of on hold. But if... I think if something calls for it, then... Yeah, mm-hmm. you can propose the death sentence. I feel like, right... If it wasn't just... Okay, not 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 to not that it's a light thing, okay, to happen to some a girl, right? But if it was a bit more than filming the and leaking a sex tape, right, which might have been consensual, might not have been, right? Mm. If it was like like what you're saying, like, like it's gonna rape or whatever, right? Then I feel like <laughs> it's a bit more justifiable. What are you laughing? What he did to the boy. No, last time just you was before. Remember I asked you, it, why would I gonna rape, right? Uh-huh. Then if I, I really like it can kill you. Yeah. Then he say he will kill. <laughs> <laughs> he say la. No, I say like, hey, will you kill for me? La? He say, yeah. <laughs> he say. <laughs> no, I think like with this whole thing, right? I just like, I feel like because he died, right? Nobody is forgetting that he actually did something very bad as oh. well. Like leaking and ruining the girl's life. Like if she didn't want it posted. Ma. Right, actually, right. right yeah. yeah, so that's true. I agree. Like if he didn't die, how do you think this conversation would be going right now? Mm. Yeah, and people will say, oh my god, he sucks, he deserves to be like... Like he deserved it lah. Yeah. Alert! Alert, guys! 46% of you that are watching right now are not subscribed! So if you would like to support us and have us have more conversations like this, deeper ones, more meaningful ones... Hopefully. Let's go! Like, share and subscribe. Comment down below what you think of the episode so far and yeah, we want to hear your views too. Back to the episode! What what the conversation online? Cause like my my sentiment is that I I sympathize I I I condemn what the father da- did, but I sympathize the position he had to be put in. Mm. Yeah, to have done that. Most of people say he deserved to be beat, but not to the point of death. Mm. Yeah, that's what most people are saying. I mean, on Reddit, our Malaysia at least. Yeah, wow. I mean, it's a good point lah. I think the conversation definitely would have shifted, but like, I I don't I don't know if people are forgetting it though. I think it's just I think the debate is just about whether the father deserves to be punished with the death sentence or should he be punished okay. with like life. Uh. Question then for you. How would what would you want your father to do if it, this happened to you? Um She asked uh, the father to No, but <laughs> I would want the father to check with me first. Ah, like number one, ah. was it co- mm. did I want the thing to be filmed? Number two, like how do I feel? Do I want to escalate it? Like, do I want him to go to the other guy, yeah. confront him or whatever? Because yeah. I think he's like, his decision making seems like based on anger ma. Because he went with another person to beat up yeah. the guy. But he never asked me like, do I even want that guy to be harmed or whatever lah. Like, he's not caring for my mental right. stance on the situation ma. But right, what if, I feel like this kind of thing, like, you are in the heat of the moment of realising that mm. your nudes have been leaked, right? I mean, like, someone has clearly mm. betrayed your trust here, but this is also someone that you love, that you loved enough to have sex with. Mm. Uh, assuming that sex is, like, the value of sex is that to you, mm. lah. But then, so in that moment, if your father had come and asked you, right, you might have chosen to protect him, or you might have been too shameful about it, right, mm. to not want to report it. But, what if, like, half a year later, are you going to think the same, you know? Or like, when you break up, are you going to think the same? You know what I mean? So mm. then, I feel like it's a bit difficult, especially like when it comes to like, you are in a relationship with the perpetrator. Mm. Yeah, then like, if later on you regret, then how? Like, I feel like that's like a, quite a big gap in terms of like that's sexual true, assault or like this kind of like, porn. Like, but by right, the, the law would have come into effect, like, right? Like, he would have been found out, he would have been arrested for leaking. Yeah, if it wasn't such an uh, uh, impulsive thing, then mm. most likely the next steps will have been like what he said, take it to the law yeah, and then see what happens, right? Mm. Yeah. Let's sue him off. Yeah. Like, I just wonder, law, like, because I feel like there, there are multiple stories that I've heard also, right, of like mm. assault victims. Then like when they want to... Okay, in this case, there is proof, mm. right? But in the case of rape, for example, or mm. like sexual assault, right? Mm. There is... When you want to go back and open that case, right? It's too late. You don't have the evidence and it mm. becomes like he said, she said, right? Then you go through trial, you re- re-go through that whole trauma, then it, nothing might come of it. Mm. Which, which is why I guess like the, the best thing to do in any case is to report it, but to report it to the right people early enough and not take matters into your own hands or just wait for the thing to fester and not have evidence like, in that sense, right? Yeah. I think the only issue is that sometimes the law or 
real justice doesn't feel like justice enough. Yeah, mm. which is what I want to bring up. Mm. What is justice, right? What? Because if say we are, if say somebody gets raped, right? Then some, some people say, okay lah, you go jail, you're going to get raped. You deserve it. That's another human being. Eh. Mm. How come we are able to accept when things happen to somebody that we deem deserves it? You know? Like why is it that this exact same act of violence can be done to person A? If person A has done the exact same act on mm. some, somebody else. Yeah. Is I think an eye for an eye make the world go blind. Is that justice? One guy will end up with one eye though. <laughs> an eye? For an eye? Both one no, eye? I think no, they, but you put one eye, one eye, one eye, one eye. I think they just don't view that person as a human after they did something mm. wrong. They just deem yeah. not human, deserve to kind of whatever bad shit. And a lot of this is generally public sentiment and speculation. Like what we are doing now, we're just yeah. commenting on, on, mm. on, on, on a issue or case we don't really know enough of, mm-hmm. right? Mm. And, 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 and the, the problem is this, that the same thing happens everywhere else to everyone else. And is that fair? If this was your loved one and this happened to, 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 to your family member and you understand the father, you know what I mean? You understand why he did that. Yeah, I understand. But now he deserves that. Mm. Like shit. Mm. I think so like I might have been like projecting a bit when I was kind of like hypothetically saying what the father was trying to do, right? Because I think if it were me, mm. I think public shaming of this guy, right, is the eye for an eye. You mm. know what I mean? Because that's kind I of like what the strip naked thing. Or, strip naked, or like call him out. Or like, like his, his name naked, permanently. Yeah, known. his mm. name needs to be out there, you know? Right. Right? Yeah. Not so much like attack him. La. That, like what you mentioned, mm. I think it's like mm. just an act of rage law. Yeah. And there's so much conversation around all this because at the end of the day, right now, right, every single individual that we have called out or mentioned, we are only looking at one aspect of them. Yeah. Mm. Right? And not the, the many other facets of them as a human being. Mm. So, True. like, what if later you found out that actually this father also sexually abused his daughter mm. throughout her early years? Mm. Then now what happens? Right? <laughs> then we will change our yeah. stance. Or so what if he used to be from prison because he, or he went to, into prison for killing somebody before that? Mm. Then does that change the whole story? Mm. Or. You know, like mm. wow. Yeah. In the eye of the law, it does though, which is very interesting. Yeah. Time to we've been wanting to get a lawyer <laughs> la, So ah. yeah, but yeah, I think like something else that I was also thinking about is like like you mentioned right. Say for example, like in prison, child rapists right or like pedophiles, they are like the lowest like in the food chain, and they like get rid of whatever. Right? But what if it comes out that like they were falsely convicted for it, then what happens, you know what I mean? I feel mm. like whenever it comes to justice and all that, right, a big argument against anything that is finite or anything that we want to do to someone that we cannot undo, right, it's just like, but what if we are wrong about it? Mm. Right. Yeah. But they are the, the same- lowest? Not those scam callers, man. <laughs> <laughs> those fucking annoying scam. If they are scamming into the group. Use okay, <laughs> la, but if elderly is their life-saving, then, ah, right, then right, bump right. up, yeah. Mm, nice. <laughs> correct, correct. But yeah, then something else, like when you talk about like justice, like we need that like satisfactory feeling, you know, that like, oh, justice has been That's served. Exactly right? there. Yeah, I think like Singapore recently, there was a case, right, that a father has been sexually abusing this girl since she was young and even like circulated like her nudes and all that, oh. right? And I'm not sure whether like, when he forced her to give blowjob, he got like circulate those videos also lah. But then he get 11.5 years, that kind. Then is that justice? Yeah, we went through the law, right? But what happens when the law doesn't serve what mm, people view as enough. satisfactory justice? Mm. Yeah, but That's what are you trying to satisfy? Who are you satisfying? No, but it's the like, public. Like, like for example, right? Like, okay, if someone got sexually assaulted or someone got raped, right? Like yeah. that trauma is, it's not hard to imagine that there's a trauma that you live with for the rest of your life. Mm. Mm. But this person gets to live out a sentence with an expiry date and then he's mm. free already after that. Mm. And so it feels as though it is not enough. I have to now live with this burden. Like I was just happily going through my day and now I'm now stuck with this trauma for, for no fault of my own for the rest of my life. But actually, like jumping back on Ellison's point, right? What if like to this, right? This case being blown up, being discussed like that and people saying that he should have gotten more, he should have gotten more. What if there's actually more trauma causing to the victim? Mm. Mm. Like you say you want to put the name out there, but what if like that yeah. draws people to watch the video? They don't even know about this case in the first place. How would you react if your nudes were leaked? Like right now. <gasps> yeah. She was just telling me about disappearing telegram bubbles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so do you know telegram? <laughs> disappearing. Because there's video, right? But now there's disappearing video. Like the, the circle. Without, like without secret chat. Yeah, so it will appear as like a fire sign. And then when you press it, then it will just play once and then disappear. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. But I didn't know it was like a thing until... <laughs> until what? It's like a Snapchat lah. Wait, until what? <laughs> oh! <okay. laughs> Why you bring this up when you talk about No, it's, in, it's, in, it's just appeared. 
literally. No. Okay, but yeah, back but to I don't agree on sending nudes or filming yourself. Ah. Uh. Yeah. What if it's like a Polaroid, right? Then you take, then he keep, then can. No, but still can pass around. But you're locked inside, then you can no, view I don't. it. I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable. Okay, so yeah. So so what would you do right now, right? If you receive a message yeah. from a friend and then it's, hey, listen, is this you? I think I'll be like, and then I'll just find everybody's like opinion. What should I do, lor? Like of my closest friend, like should I like? She send them the picture. Hey, this garlic. What should I do? I don't know. I asked my boyfriend, <laughs> and he say go get a gag order or something to remove it from like What's websites. Yeah, yeah. Kidding, kidding. <laughs> it's funny why it's called a gag order, ho. It's like just you, someone's gonna chuckle. Yeah. But I think I'll just <laughs> chuckle or move <laughs> and like start a new life that time. Cause I think I <laughs> damn high. Right, right, right. Cause I think it's like damn humiliating for me, lah. The fact that right. my body's out there without my consent. Right. It's just very humiliating and I know that people will probably save you on the phone and then it will just always exist even though it's from like away from the big websites lah. Right. So I really like give props to people who have been through this and still can like you know stand their ground and like continue because I'll be them paise. I don't know lah. You? you? If my nudes uh. got face? Yes. yes. Wow paise. Very, very spicy. <laughs> but I, th- I think, like, You're I mean, I, I, th- I think girls and rightly so would feel a lot more to lose than I think guys would in that situation. Because I feel like guys could, like, some of it can be taken as, like, hey, good for you, man, or like, proud for you. Like, if it's like a sex tip or whatever. Lah. Whereas, like, I think girls, the dignity really, like, very, very shack on them. If Do you like, think the like issue is with right how society in general, like, guys and girls, right, talk about male nudes versus female nudes? You know what I mean? Like if we see a like dick pic or whatever, right? How we would like comment or like react to it versus if we see a girl's picture that gets leaked. Like I think the conversation surrounding that, right? is very different. And so that might be where all this like the, the shame or like the fear comes from at, for a girl. And it's very rare that like, I think like a dick pic come out then all the girls will start saying like, wow, I want to like write that. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. Versus like a, <laughs> a girl's picture that gets leaked where the guys be like, wow, her boobs like, wow, juicy. That kind of <laughs> The way that it gets sexualized yeah. is, the, is yeah. the problem. I think there's also a perception. Like, I mean, I, I, th- I think guys would take it quite badly also, but there's a perception that if there was a sex tape and there was a guy and a girl, right? If someone spotted that guy on the street, he'll be like, hey, hey you're the dude. What the Hey, dude. Whereas if the girl, it will be like, <laughs> you know, like, like, like the guy will be stripping her in her mind exactly, already because exactly. like he, he knows how she looks like. So yeah. that reaction immediately is a bit different. But I think this is why I don't watch amateur porn. Cause I'd be scared. <laughs> it's not where like, I thought this was going. No, no, no. I see, I'd you be see scared you know the that. video, right? It's like, uh, like this kind, like, um, uh, unwanted, like someone didn't know it's being posted. Then I'm oh. looking at it. Right, right, right. Oh. So I'd rather see the overproduced one because I know they know that they are being yeah. filmed. <laughs> For your principle. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm very uncomfortable when I see it. Like, Watch a one bit, with a respect, bit like guys. The, the, the anger, you know, is like hidden. Like right, 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 right. I feel a bit weird. So I have to be the thumbnail is they post like that, then can. No, She's like, the one that purposely, set the camera. like, the cameraman is like filming at the. If the yeah, so yeah, like, what if the girl is the one that put the camera. No, then the guy, he might not have consented to it. Yeah. No? Your camera? Yeah. We love consent. So thank you for watching today's episode. I know we talked about a lot of heavier stuff. Do let us know what thoughts you have down below and don't forget to like, share, subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Heavy. There was a word in Japanese, right? That is no, but actually means yes. I can't remember what it is. Is it? Itai? No, I can't remember. That's pain. Yeah, no, so it's not Itai. <laughs> Shit. Why are you the fact that you know so much? <laughs>